you have ever wondered how to superimpose images and graphics or create a bug in the corner of your show during a production studio, wonder no more. This month's technical tip gives us the know-how to be proficient in using the SPNN Studio Inscriber. I'm Mike Beaton, graphics designer for SPNN. Building graphics is one of the most valuable skills you can learn when making a television program. Without them, my name wouldn't even show up at the bottom of the screen. Because graphics often communicate ideas that may not have been discussed in a program, it's highly recommended that you use them for your own production. I'll start by giving you video tutorials of Inscriber CG Supreme, the graphics program used in our studios and production van. Now we've opened Inscriber and you'll see a blank page with a green square at the center of the screen, smaller screens on the left hand side, a lot of buttons on the right hand side, and multiple panels at the bottom. I'll cover those as we go along because there won't mean anything if you don't have any text to work with. Now you should see a cursor on top of the blank page, go ahead and click that. And now we've activated our text cursor, which works just like a standard word processor on your computer. You can type in anything you like. But before we do that, I want you to remember something that will be very crucial when you are building graphics. You want to use fonts that are clear and easy to read because your viewers will only have a short amount of time to read the graphics on screen. By default, Inscriber uses the Arial font. If you need to use another font, scroll to the bottom of the screen click on the size and attributes tab and just under it you'll see a font browser where you can select any font that you wish. I'll stick with Arial because it's a clear simple font. You can use whatever you like though. Now let's type in a couple lines. Something like Larry Lockdown Camera Specialist. I'm sure you notice that my lines of text are on the top of the screen. And if we use the text as it is, it would probably cut off our talent's head. And of course, we don't want that. How do we fix it? Well, there are two easy ways, and I'm going to show you both. The first is by going to the right-hand side of the screen, clicking on the arrow symbol in the Tools palette, scroll back to the line of text, and as soon as you see a compass-like symbol next to the pointer, click and drag that line of text to your preferred position in this case, the bottom of the screen. So I'll do that with both lines. The second method is designed for fine tuning your graphics if they appear off balance or if you just need to do a couple adjustments without making a drastic move. And it does that by moving the graphics one pixel at a time. Just select your text, press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard and use the arrow keys to guide the text to the position you would like it to be. And we'll do that with both lines. Now if you notice, if I let go of the Alt key and then use the arrow keys, we can move between lines of text. I stopped moving my text from going beyond the green square. The green square is called the Video Save Title Area. It lets you know that if you build a graphic that goes outside those boundaries, it may go off the television screen when you watch your program at home and that would ruin all your efforts. Now the last thing I want to show you before I close this session today is that you notice we have Larry Lockdown Camera Specialist. Well, Camera Specialist is his title, Larry Lockdown is his name, so we probably want to make a Camera Specialist a little bit smaller so you can separate the two. But if I try to adjust the height, it automatically affects both lines. This is a default setting in Inscriber where every line of text is linked together. To undo this link, click on your original line of text, in this case Larry Lockdown, go to the right hand side, click on the text cursor button in the tools palette, highlight it, and then just quickly bold, unbold it, italicize it, italicize it, and now you have two separate lines of text to work with. So now we can go in and shrink our camera specialist line down a little bit and since we're at it we'll uh, bring Larry Lockdown down a couple pixels and now you have just learned the basics on how to work with Inscriber.